So I'm logged into Languages at Warwick and I'm going to find the resources available for tutors. Now to do this I'm going to come to the top right hand corner and click on the menu. And then I'm going to scroll down and find the course that's called 101 using Moodle to support language teaching. Now this course is um, added to every tutor who works in languages at Warwick and you can see from the headings here that it covers um, a range of resources uh, to help you find your way through. It also includes um, open badges and uh, so if you complete some of the activities you will get awarded an open badge. Um, so finding uh, useful documents and things uh, to work your way around um, Moodle, and this is Languages at Warwick Moodle, which is a Moodle Rooms jewel. Click on heading 4, Downloads. Now if I scroll down here, you can see there are a selection of booklets here that you can download, um, including the tool guide, um, which will very quickly show you um, which tools will achieve which learning aims. You can see a theme guide as well that will give you a tour to the new SNAP theme if you're finding your way around that. This is a totally um, responsive design theme which means that you can access and use this course on your phone or your iPad um, just as well as you can on a, on a computer. Um, you can see some guides to the more uh, uh, complicated perhaps elements of using the course such as the dual personal learning designer. So these are, are ways of uh, helping to set your course so that some groups of students see certain things um, and have a fixed path that you've predetermined through the resources. Um, so that's worth investigating if you want to personalise learning um, for your classes. Um, you've got additional support here around uh, pe pedagogy. Um, so lots of things here that you can just click on and download uh, to find things um, that will help you set up your course or make your course more engaging. Uh, if I return to the top here, you can see you've also got some information about approaches to uh, embedding e-learning within your teaching and blended learning approaches. You've got some resources as well to support students with special needs or dyslexic students here and these have come from um, Lancaster University and there's some helpful resources there and tips. So plenty to explore and I hope you'll uh, take part in, in this course in order to find what you need.